Hi everyone, it's Doreen with Ooh La La Vintage Treasures and I'm back to share with you another tutorial on my little crunchy booklet that I made. I have a video and if you want to go back and see how I put this piece together, I'll have that linked in this video down below. But we are going to make something new today. I said I would come back and do a Stains by Patty Pockets. Okay, so we are using this collection right here. And I also showed the papers that we'll be using, but um, what I had in the front cover, let me show you the one I had. I had taken apart, that's one page, and then there's this page. And this is the one I will be including on the front cover. I've taken it out because I've been working with this page. Um, and I cut it in three pieces, so I was able to get a belly band out of it and you'll see that in a minute. I was able to get a suitcase tuck and then this part right here would be the front cover. Okay, so that'll be tucked into this pocket right here. All right, so here is my vintage door and I made it double sided so that you could use it any way you wanted or you could cut it down the center and make embellishments out of it or make a book out of it. So that just gets tucked into here. So this is our front cover again, as I shared with you, and then I made this as a tuck spot, and I added a few little bits right here just to decorate the edge and also make a pull tab so it can go like this. And then inside here, I've added some other things. I've added this digital right here and I will have all the links to all the digital shops that I used. I used several different ladies. And then this here is an original of mine that I, um, I scanned this in and I made it smaller so that it would be a cute little journaling spot. And it has the sample yards and style color, price terms. I just thought that was so cute and it was a vintage color. It was exactly like this. So I made that into a little tuck spot as well. And that one just goes in there. And then this right here is just a um, French card. And that's the back. And then here is the word buttons. That's just tucked in there. There's going to be a lot of other things tucked in as well. On this side, I just have this pretty digital here, and I made it into a side tuck so it could be used anyway as well. It could be a tag, it could be a tuck spot. You can cut this out and make it into just the doily tuck, and then use the papers for other items. And then I also did on the back side. I know it's going to be hard to decide which side to use, right? But anyway, this has script on this side and this has a rose pattern on the other side. So here is just a few pieces of lace and I just added it to the edge of this paper clip to hold on this piece right here. And also to show you what I did next, I have this piece that goes like this in the book. So we are going to be making this today. What I wanted to share with you today is this piece right here. This is the book that I'm using and I purchased this at a thrift shop and I paid three dollars and some change. I've already started tearing through this book as you can see. I have this in English and I also have it in French and I love the French of course. So I have these pages here as you can see the needle and all that so you can you know rip these little tiny images out and use them in your projects and they make great embellishments. So that's what I did. I just kind of went through the book and got some similar images. I'm not going to take the time to go through this whole book because that could take a little while. Sewing and crocheting and macrame. I mean lots of techniques and this is only a 1980 book so you can't copy it. So I thought, okay, I'll just tear it up then. Use it for book pages like we all do, right? So anyway, that's what I used for the images. So we are gonna cover her face up, you guys. I hope you're not offended, but that's just what we do sometimes. We cover things up. So I'm just gonna rip around here. And just get this edge off. 
and it's not going to matter because when you put the stains on there it's going to turn the paper brown so it doesn't matter if you leave some of the white there or not and I'm, I think I'm going to purposely leave it like that so you can see what I mean glue these papers to the page and it doesn't really matter which way you you do it because this one has images on both sides but I think I'm going to go with this one because it has the complete needle right there so we'll glue it on this side here I hope everyone's doing well it is a little bit overcast today and my allergies are kicking me today and then down here we're just going to put this one and let's see if I want to I guess I'm going to cut some of this pattern out right here because I don't want to use all that. I might cut this down a little bit more here. In my original one, I didn't have the flowers showing. And like I said, it's not going to matter. It's not going to show that much. But we're going to just do that. I originally liked it because of the layered paper and also for the flower image. So we're just going to, let's see. I don't want this to go this way like that I've only used a couple things and then this I cut out of the book as well and we're just gonna cut that down a little bit I should say rip because I rip everything and then that'll go like right there I think I'm gonna take off the extra word you don't need that can use that somewhere else. This is for my Crystals and Pearls Kit Club. And this one's going to be called Happiness is Homemade. So you'll be seeing that on some future videos. And then we're also going to add, let me add a little piece of this. This is a um, an envelope that ripped. So I'm just using it for inspiration for my little um, for my piece right here just to give it some texture really it just gives it a different texture when you add embossed paper I love that look okay so I'm just gonna add some like right here you don't need that much either because you don't want to cover everything up Okay, so let's just go right here. See, as you can see, it's only a few elements just to make a little embellishment. Super simple. Let's go like that. So you have this now. And then we're going to put the Stains by Patty Pockets on there. You um, pour a little bit in the cap. You don't have to have a lot, you guys. It doesn't take a lot for this little bit that I'm doing here. This is from Amazon. You can order these on Amazon. They have tons of makeup brushes that are gel brush. I love this stuff you guys if you love vintage style and you love this really nice taupey coffee color I mean it's the perfect color for paper as you can see it's really transforming the paper already and it's giving that layered look on this page and I've barely put any on So I've got it all on here. Now, some people um, let it dry overnight or whatever, but I like the instant gratification you get when you use the, um, the heat tool on it. So I like to do that, and I also like to see that it's coming out correctly. So yeah, so that's what it looks like when you do that. And then um, we'll come back and we'll do the other side after we dry it. So let's do that first. So there'll be a little bit of noise with my heat gun. I want you to see this. It's so cool how it just 
dries it quickly. It's like a glue. It's similar to like a glue. It reminds me of syrup, which I love. And it's almost dry already, you guys. It's almost there already. Okay, and so now we're gonna do the other side now. So as you can see, look at how pretty that looks. And it's crunchy too, and we love that crunchy. See that? nice crunchy sound okay let's go ahead and do the back so that um, if you wanted to write on it or use it for well it just looks good when you do the back of course because the white paper doesn't look that good this is just regular copy paper and you literally just put a little bit on There we go. Just enough to cover it. All right, let's dry this up. Okay, and that is finished. So now you have a nice embellishment, right? If you have a white edge, it just kind of adds to it and it looks really cool. And then you just embellish it with a few little trims and a little bit of, um, this is just a couple pieces of trim up here. So I added this lace here and then I added this lace on top and I put a little bit of that on the edge and um, added the heat tool to it and it dried and it kind of made it a little bit um, you know crispy a little bit hard this one's soft down here this is just two layers so that is that part right there and then the other part that we're going to do is this right here, since we have the stains out already. So that's what it looks like. And that's the back. All right, so let's make the other part. So I'm using these Royal Lace Basket Lace Doilies. I got these from the thrift store. They're 10 inches. This is what they look like. I don't know if these are vintage. I'm not sure. Pretty beautiful pattern there. It has a gorgeous edge, as you can see, really pretty edge. I just cut right on this edge right here. Straight across, so you get that piece like that. And then you notice when you cut it straight across, you're gonna get this piece, right? So that's okay, I just want the doily part and I will cut up the edges so they all match and look the same. And this will be, that's really cute too. I folded one over and made it into an envelope and that was cute. 
but right now we're just going to do this. Was we want this we want this square right here. So you see the pieces. So I will do this, and then I'll even up the edges here. And of course we'll cut this part off. And then you just have a little piece you can use for something else for collaging. And then the same with this one. And this one you're going to cut here. And you're also going to cut on here. So they're all even now. Okay? So I have four pieces to make little tuck spots. So on this one, we're just going to fold it this way and then fold it this way. And then I'm just gonna cut this. And it doesn't matter if it's perfect because we're gonna use it to tuck it into our little pocket. I mean, you kind of want it a little bit straight, but we're gonna cut it anyways. We're going to rip it in a minute anyways. Okay, so you got four pieces out of that too. Okay. We're only going to need one piece for that. Put these aside over here for later. Okay, so now we have this. Right? So this is going to tuck into this part right here. So... And I'm sure if you've seen a lot of videos on this, you've probably seen this done on a doily already. But looks really cute. So I thought I would show you. There's a lot of ladies that have videos out on what to do with stains by Patty Pockets. And I was lucky enough to be able to get one of these from her. Patricia Viramontes sent me a bottle and then I bought two more bottles because I loved it so much. All right, let's go ahead and dry this up. really not going to see the other side so we'll just pick this up see how it's getting so crispy I love that So that part is done. You see the sparkle on it too? And the crispy. We love that. So much crispy. All right, we're gonna put this aside for now. And we're gonna make this pocket. I call this a pocket tuck. I don't know what you wanna call it, but it's just a quick little flip out kind of thing. And so I already folded one up. So this is basically what we're doing. Let's see, put my mat back down so I don't get anything on it. And you're not using very much glue with this either. I was just playing around with my paper. I printed out the digital. So this is what the digital looks like. So I printed it out and I was just kind of playing with it. I didn't exactly know what I wanted to do. Um, but I wanted to do something on that page. So I just folded it kind of in half and then 
I wanted to give it like a little fold over type of thing. So let's see, like about right there. And then I wanted to fold it over the back side here. Something like that. It's not even straight, you guys, but you know, that's what happens. Okay, so you have this little fold over spot here, and this you can tuck things in. What you're going to do is you're just going to fold it over like this. Get it to the edge here. So you have a triangle like that, and then you're going to turn it. You're going to turn it like this so that your point will come back and it'll be the same kind of thing. So you just kind of eyeball it, right? And then you push it back like that. So you kind of leave just a little bit of a gap there. And then you just get something like that. It kind of is maybe like a ruffle type of thing what you want it to kind of look like right and then you take the other side and you fold it down and you're going to fold it up so you're going to be making a point like that you're going to fold it up like that and then you're going to fold this back like that so you have something like this okay now what we're going to do is we're going to take some glue and just glue the little edges in so that it stays in place. And the ladies that like to sew can sew this. It look really cute if you sew it. And that's really all it is. And then what you're going to do now is you're going to take these points and you're going to pull them back this way. So it kind of gives you like a flat look there. Like that. And at this point, um, you can you can glue it right here if you want just to hold it in place. Let's just put a little glue right there for now. But you're not wanting to shut it closed because we have to add the doily in there. All right. So fold that in and then it should tuck right in here between the points there. So you kind of want to make it look like it's straight across this way like that. And then I believe I did rip this a tiny bit on the edge so it wasn't so straight. Let me just take this down a little bit here. And you could use this little tiny piece for something else, like a little collage piece or something, just a little something there. Okay, and then you're just going to tuck this in here, okay? So let's do that. So in order for it to go, you have to glue it in with something. And I'm not sure if this is the right glue, so I may have to come back and glue this with, um, with fabric tack or something, but just to show you in the video, okay, what we're doing here. We're just making a little tuck spot there. Actually, you want to bring it down a little bit here. Try to make it match the edge. Like I said, you kind of just eyeball it and you'll get the right placement there. So it looks something like that. And then it opens like this. And let me fix this because it's going to bother me if you turn it over and you see that it's crooked. On the other side. Let 
And you can fold it how you want. See, I'm going to make that a little bit different there. Just so it looks right. There. That looks a little bit better. So it looks something like this now. And then let's go ahead and glue this little tip down here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to rough up the edges a little bit here. Okay, and then ink that up. Now I'm not going to ink all the edges up because I let the ladies decide if they want them inked or not and that gives them something to do when they create with the kit. This is just to give them an idea of what they can make. And let's see how I want to do this. So I kind of wanted to make this like a little catch for the paper clip. Let me see. So when you put the paper clip on, it kind of holds the page closed too. So that determines where you put the little tag. So it'll go like right there. Just go right there. So hopefully you guys took some paper out and you are crafting along with me. And you can make one of these for yourself. Let's see. I want it to point out that way so it catches it too. But I don't want it to be glued down. Let's not do that. So now you have a little tuck right there right so on this one I just have this cute little piece of paper this is part of the same digital collection and what I was going to do is put that inside of here just for something different and I ripped the pages up the edges I kind of ripped them there and there on the edges like an old piece of paper would look and then you tuck that in there and then this would be tucked in where the paper clip is so you kind of see the the sewing theme sticking out there and then on the other side what I did is here's that doily and so I placed the doily see where I cut it so I placed the doily in here to give it another layer as well and also they can use this piece of the doily since I only had a small pack of uh, not enough for 30 ladies and then look at the beautiful roses I tuck that inside of there and then there's going to be other stuff tucked in that they don't see and um, then that's how it looks when it's in the book and then let's see Let me show you so this is what the book looks like again, and then that gets tucked in right there. So you have a cute little tuck spot inside your packaging. Lots of goodies going to be attached to this, you guys. Um, ladies in my Crystals and Pearls Kit Club, I hope that you love it. Um, I will be doing a giveaway very soon. There's a lot going on right now. We are trying to um, do something for Violet, and that's really important for her to receive some goodies in the mail. So if you haven't checked that out, I'm going to put a link below to Jennifer's video and her giveaway. I will be doing some things for the giveaway as well. So um, she will be sharing that on her channel. And thank you guys again for stopping by. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Bye, everyone.